I wanted to choreograph something close to life, more importantly, close to my own life. As choreographers, we can weave fantasy around the story, romanticize, be brutally literal, abstract or whimsical. I chose to look at characters from our mythology to tell my story. Hmm, my story of losing, my story of crying, my story of helplessness, my story of getting up and trying again, and my story of not belonging anywhere. Well, how am I in this situation? Answer, life. I guess more you live it, more seasons it gives you. My dance mate Vishwa and I started a quest of finding Trishanku and the Trishanku in us. Initial sessions were done outdoor around the rim of a well. We did a lot of research on repetitive movements and the kind of feeling it generates inside. For example, the same Bharatanatyam Adabu was done continuously for 10 minutes, going round and round and the feelings were noted. Hence the body reacting to the bhava became more important than the movement itself. This section for me was more like chasing and seeking. As Trishanku had committed three sins, I wanted to explore this aerially, which makes people feel like their whole life is flashing in front of them. I want to take my audience to two different time zones and hence have narrated the story of Trishanku with the classical dance style Bharatanatyam. It sort of creates a sudden time shift and also talks about the pathos of Trishanku's life. I have observed on the confusion, restlessness, impulsiveness and recklessness of our modern lives today. Our ideas today start from somewhere and end somewhat abruptly and vaguely. This kind of was similar to what Trishanku went through in his life. I have explored this in the last section of the dance. Another interesting concept for me is that this dance is throughout performed in a circular space of light, a feeling of no beginning and no end. I have collaborated with Sri Kiran Subramanyam for choreography of the classical dance section. I think he brings in an amazing insight and freshness to the dance. The music is scored by Raghu Dikshit, whom I think has literally breathed life into the sequence. His sensitivity to sound and musical textures brings on shades of imagination to this performance. It's been an interesting experience through the entire process of creating as it has actually changed my perception of belonging. <laughs>